Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marissa, and you guys have probably maybe seen me before. But if not, I do videos on fitness and mental health and sometimes spirituality. Just an all-around kind of verse channel. Today, it's since it's been quite some time since I've done like a skin update. My skin is the best it's ever been, except for this. And this was a spider bite. It wasn't a zit. I literally am acne free and I just can't believe this is happening. Sorry, I caught a flu so I might sound a little sick. I don't think you guys understand like how much of a monumental moment this is for me because I was dealing with like that intense acne that like never really had a whitehead. It was just like under the skin and like the more you mess with it, the worse it got. And then it would like leave scars and like even the scarring is gone. Like I just went crazy on figuring out my damn skin like I was not gonna give up so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of what I did I don't I'm not saying this will work for you but these are literally the things that worked for me that I was like hold up I am done with acne like I'm taking charge of my skin so first and foremost I washed myself with this this has just always been a face wash that really will help me, and I've just never fully committed to it, but um, I stuck with the St. Ives, and this really, really, I feel like helped my skin just because it's always um, like scrubbing at it. I don't think that's what cured my acne. I think that helped, but honestly, I found these at Whole Foods, which Hazel pads, and I actually haven't done it today, but literally... Every time I wake up, every time I get home from somewhere, every time I'm going to bed, I take, I, I don't, I'll take off all my makeup and I'll take this wipe and I would put it on like all my trouble areas. So this was a big trouble area right here, for sure right here, and all here, and then sometimes my forehead. And I would just use this wipe all over my face, let it dry and then move on. But I honestly swear it's these witch hazel wipes. Like, I swear, 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 swear. It was this. It was this little step. And, yeah. You can't go wrong with this. It was like $4.99 and it saves my skin. And someone a long time ago, I think it was actually an ex-boyfriend, um, he like had the most beautiful skin and he was just like, witch hazel. And I was like, yeah, okay. I was like so set in my ways that he couldn't teach me about skin. But once I found these wipes, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to listen to him for once and Witch Hazel is saving my damn life yet again. Every night when I go to bed, I normally like watch TV or whatnot and um, I was just, I just kind of sit there and you like fall asleep. So I was like, okay, I'm going to start doing something for my skin as I'm just watching TV. So I would take this coconut oil or just any coconut oil and I take a scoop of it. I put it all over my face. I'm not going to do that because I'm actually going to get ready right now. But I put it all over my face and then I take my jade roller. If you are interested in one of these, I think this had a lot to do with my skin as well. And then I would just rub it on all of these areas, including my neck. I just like rub my life away. Like it's funny, I ha was having a sleepover with a friend and I <laughs> she felt, or like we we're both falling asleep to the TV show. That was on and she was just like, okay, are you going to stop rolling? And I was like, nope, I'm just going to roll until I fall asleep. And I like literally fell asleep like this. I did a video on this already, but this mask, again, at Whole Foods, the Aztec secret mask. I do this every Sunday and honestly, I, again, think that this has so much to do with it. So it's these three products that have literally cleared my skin. The apricot, St. Ives. Aztec healing clay mask and for sure the witch hazel like this is the main step if any if you've tried these two and they haven't worked and you haven't tried this one or if you just want to try one thing this is it witch hazel witch hazel witch hazel and I really think the wipes are just super beneficial because they're already just super quick to grab you don't think about it. there's no effort into it and for $4.99 like come on for clear skin and this has lasted me like I'm not even kidding probably like three months so it don't go by too quickly so now that my skin is clear thank the heavens from above I have been playing around with like different face like 
foundation and stuff because I'm honestly pretty tired of makeup like I I'm, I'm over it I don't really like makeup anymore and I'm just I'm such a different person than who I was like literally seven months ago like I don't even do my eyebrows anymore I'll just do the middle and then I'll get this little stuff and then maybe a little bit up here but it's like my eyebrows so natural I'm turning into like a person I don't even know and that's cool because I'm documenting it with you guys. Maybe at 25, I'll be like, damn, what was I thinking? But right now, I'm like happy and content about it. So I kind of just want to do a little vlog of like getting ready with me in the morning. So I use this Intensive Pore Treatment by Perry Cone. That's like my first step in the morning. And I just use it because um, it closes all the holes in your face where pores are and my family they have good skin but they have like pretty big pores and it drives me insane and sometimes when you wear foundation and whatnot like you can see the pores so I just put this stuff on first we have this Dermalogica super rich repair um it's like sunscreen for your face and I'm just like super into sunscreen, especially since I'm always outside with animals. I just lather myself with some um, face protective stuff or anything because I am afraid to age. Then after that, I put on the pear, pear cone, peri cone photo. photo Oh my god, photoplasma, and it's the final step before you put on your, um, oh my gosh, your makeup. And it's just like, kind of like a face protector primer. And I just put it all over my face again. And I honestly think moisturizing and pr protecting my skin and putting that layer before my skin is also what's truly helping me because normally I would just always put on foundation and not really protect my skin but when you put this stuff on it's kind of like putting a layer before it touches your skin and this layer is very um there's a lot of vitamins in this stuff there's just a lot of nutrients that your skin would like to eat rather than um makeup so normally my skin is just like super dewy like right now looking but that's okay that's kind of what I strive for and now so this used to be my foundation every day makeup forever I just really feel like I need my hair I just got the shower okay maybe this will work whatever I don't know um <laughs> so uh okay so this used to be my foundation that I used like obviously every day and I just um, am over foundation, so I found this BB cream by Burt's Bees Medium, but it's still a little light. I'm a little disappointed by like their colors because literally I am not that tan. I am like the whitest tan you will ever meet. And the fact that it doesn't match like my medium skin is a little scary because that means it's supposed to be super white and I just don't feel like there's a range for other people and other ethnicities and that's kind of messed up if you ask me so I don't know if I'll stick with this one um, but I definitely like it for right now I think I'm gonna go to back to the Laura Mercier one once this is done so this is too light so what I do is I do like a good scoop of this and then I will do a nice squirt of my foundation so I'm not fully getting away from foundation, but I fully don't have it either, so that's about as much as I'll put on my face, and then I just mix them together, so it like makes like the perfect face color, and then, you know, I'm just using my hands now, guys, no beauty blender, no nothing, and like honestly, the BB cream is so creamy and like beautiful feeling. And then my foundation just like gives me that color that I really needed. Wow, I look crazy right now. It's obviously super different like putting this stuff on your face with your hands. Then a beauty blender, but I'm just, I'm so tired of wearing a bunch of makeup. Like you guys don't understand. I've worn so much makeup my whole entire life that I'm just like, get me 
away from it and now that I have clear skin I feel like it's so appropriate to like not have that much stuff on your face. That's it. You guys can tell. So it definitely isn't that full coverage that my foundation gave me. You can like still see my skin like blemishes under and still see like my freckles under. It's just like a little tint that goes on top, which is completely fine. And I just really rub this into my face. I think that's good. Okay. And then you know me, these big old brows, I have to make sure not too much weird makeup got my eyebrows that are making them like look all types of crazy. So yeah, this is my skin, nice and now BB cream and foundation wise. <laughs> and these are my little babies. Okay, I needed music because I never get ready without music. So, so I just put it, of course, right here. Only place I ever put concealer. I don't even have like dark bags, but just bronze up that face. And then we're gonna come in with some bronzer. So this is a Laura Mercier bronzer. It's a little bit shiny actually. And I just, my other bronzer is a little too dark and I'm just not digging it lately, so, you know. So, once it's I'm really sad, that happens to my other bronzer. Yeah, always so fun. But that's the one I use for right here, because it's a little bit dark and gives me a little bit more color. And this is the newest thing that I do that I am like, don't know how I lived without it. And I always knew once I discovered how to do this. I know you make time for the things that we want. I know you got another. I love this freaking song. If you know me, you know I never know the lyrics. I just really like the freaking song. Okay, so back to what I was doing. This little device is just life changing. It will change your whole entire look. And I knew the moment I knew that I could do this, I was going to change my look forever. And. There it is, I changed my look forever because curling your lashes is probably something that you're not doing that you really need to do because it changes everything. And I also started using this mascara again. I switched, this used to be my first love. I moved away from it and now it's back in my life. It's like being back with an ex I forgot how good the relationship was when it's great. And when the relationship is great with this mascara, damn. If you don't like this song, I don't like you. Just kidding. But like, seriously. I love this song. Every time I hang out with them. It's been like, damn, I don't belong. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do this little... So I use brown liquid eyeliner now, not black. You know when you're just missing music from like your morning? That's what happened this morning. I just like really needed my music, and I didn't realize I really needed my music. But now that I have my music, I'm just like... The day is great. So now I'm using this Burt's Bees Brilliant Crayon for my lips. It's actually a little too pale for me, but, you know, I put it on first. Look like an alien. 
It just feels so good as my base rather than like plastic. Cause it's so yummy feeling. But then it's like so 2000 where like it's way too light. That's where you just come in real quick with some liner. And then there you go. Got some lip action. Take me back. <laughs> I cleaned my brushes and I don't know if I did this one right. Bobby Brown, cool. Um, pinkish, not too pink. So this is a new product I got from Kevin Coin. It's a skin liquid lighting, so it's just basically a highlighter in liquid form. I'm gonna use it for the first time today. We'll see how this goes. So I'm just gonna do a little squirt and rub, I guess. Okay, it's liquid for sure. And then you just, oh God. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'm not the best at highlighter. <laughs> I need to take some lessons from someone. I think this was actually supposed to go under my skin maybe, who knows, whatever. We're going for gold. Okay. Maybe should try that before filming it, but we're gonna see. Seems a little high. It actually really lightens up. Damn! So this is semi getting there. I actually don't like this one. And then of course, the little hat, little rattler. Besides the spider bite on my face, we're looking pretty good. We're just gonna brush out these bad boys. These are getting thick. I wish I was getting a little thick like my eyebrows right now. Okay. That's as good as we're gonna get today, guys. So this is the look. <laughs> um, and now I need to do this hair of mine. So I just walked you guys through my everyday makeup look and my hair, you know, kind of thing. And right now I really have to clean my room because I have so much laundry that I've done that I haven't put away and like just reorganizing my room doing the floors I just have a lot of clean to do but I don't think you guys are gonna have that much fun watching that aspect of my life Jango. I'm gonna get to cleaning and I will see you all very very shortly don't miss me too much